Today, I want to give you an amazing gift, a treehouse, but I can't do it without your help. Will you help me? As a child, I had a treehouse. I had a great time there with my dad, mom, and brother. It was a blue house on the branches of a green tree. Under its roof, we could always find shelter from the rain or hot sun. I remember one rainy day we sheltered there. We had tasty raspberry tea and played various games. It was so fun. But let's not waste our time and get down to business. Before building the house, you should draw up the plans. This step is necessary to get exact dimensions and order the materials. Now I'm taking a big blank sheet of paper and colored pencils. And you can close your eyes and help me. I will draw and you imagine a treehouse. Do you know what imagination is? It is when you think about chocolates and then immediately imagine their color and size and even their taste. Let's get back to our treehouse and start with choosing the proper tree. The house is going to rest on its branches, so the tree should be big and strong. In our garden, there is an apple tree, cherry trees, and a pear tree. They are short, young trees with thin branches, so they don't fit. A little farther behind the house, there is a tall oak. It has a very thick trunk and good, strong branches. That's what we need. Let's draw an oak tree in the center of our paper. First, we draw the brown trunk then the branches and green leaves. Look what a beautiful tree we have! Now we draw the house. A tree house has to rest on at least two branches. Here we will draw the first wall. By the way, what color should the walls be? I like blue, green, or red. What color do you choose? Let's draw a line from one branch to another. Then we will draw one more line upwards and complete a square like this. Every house needs a door. We need to get inside, right? And having got inside, we should close the door to keep the house warm. Here's where we'll draw the door, right in the center of the wall. It can be white and the walls will be red. Do you mind? Let's draw a rectangle together. Draw the line going up, then to the right, down, and to the left. We have drawn the door. Now, how will the sunlight get inside the house? We need windows. 
Let's draw a square window on every side of the house. Then it will be cozy and light. Great! We have the walls, windows, and a door. Look how beautiful it is. Hmm. Do you think something is missing? Oh, of course. Our treehouse needs a roof. Imagine that we are inside the house and suddenly it starts to rain. Of course, we'd immediately get wet and catch a cold. Let's hurry up and draw a brown roof. So now we have a tree, and on its branches there is a beautiful red house with a white door and windows and a brown roof. It's wonderful! But I see a problem. The door is high above the ground. How can we get inside? We need a wooden staircase. And it won't be difficult to draw. Right under the door, we will draw two vertical lines and many, many horizontal stairs. One two, three, and so on. I will also draw the sun, blue sky, and green grass, so our project will look even more beautiful. You and I did a good job drawing the outside of the house. But we also need to draw the interior. What is the interior? It is the inside part of the house with the furniture. It is important to remember that a tree house is not big, so we only need to draw the most important furniture. Let's draw a round carpet in the center that will be the play area. At the entrance, we will put a coat rack. In the right corner, we will put a comfy sofa. And in the left corner, a dining table and chairs. Our family will meet at this table and have tea with tasty cakes. And you will be able to invite your friends to the house and treat them to cake too. There is enough room for everyone. We will paint the inside walls yellow and the ceiling will be white. And, of course, don't forget to hang a lamp on the ceiling for us to switch on the light in the evening. And where will we put your toys? Let's put a wardrobe with open shelves on the right side of the entrance. You have a lot of toys, so the wardrobe should be big. What a beautiful house we have built! Let's check it once again. Please close your eyes and use your imagination. We drew an oak tree with a brown trunk and green leaves. We chose an oak because it has strong branches that can bear the weight of the house. Then we drew the red walls with a white rectangular door and square windows. In order not to get wet, we drew a brown roof. We decided to paint the inside walls yellow 
and the ceiling will be white. We even remembered a lamp to have light in the house in the evening. On the floor, we put a round carpet, a comfy sofa, and a table with chairs. And to the right of the door, we placed a wardrobe with toys. Have we forgotten anything? Let me see. Yes, of course. Let's draw a cat inside the treehouse. It will be our cat that will never let us be bored, even in the worst weather. And you will always be able to play with it on the round carpet. All we need to do is think of a name for the cat. That's it. Our plans are complete. Later, I will figure out the amount of material we need for the construction and order it at the store. And now, let's imagine together that you are running on the green grass to the tall oak. On its branches, you can see our beautiful red house. You carefully come up to the wooden staircase and slowly start to climb. The first stair, the second stair, please be careful. The door is open. And you hear children's voices inside the house. These are your friends. They came to visit you long ago and are tired of waiting. You walk through the open door and see them sitting at the table with a tasty chocolate cake. And near them, on the floor, a cat is sitting and licking its nose with pleasure. The sun is shining outside with light pouring through every window in the house. And all your friends are smiling at you. That's why you and I have built a treehouse. We have created it to give everybody a good time. And now, close your eyes and go to sleep. Dream of our red treehouse and your friend's smiles. Good night.